my friends, and welcome back to another episode of MTD North America. Today I get to spend time with my good buddy Scott here at Apex. Apex has been around since around the year 2000, and we're going to learn a little bit about how RoboDrill has helped them create additional success within their industry. So Scott, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Happy to be here, thanks. You seem to have some great knowledge learning from you and talking with you before we hit the record button on this thing. <laughs> And I'm excited to share some of your testimonials about what you've accomplished here at Apex with the global audience that we have. So, I mean, what has RoboDrill done and what are some of the unique attributes of a machine spindle or the way that you've set up with a trunnion? What has that done for your business? Uh, in this case, with the RoboDrills, uh, we were able to more than double uh, part capacity or part uh, volume in the same amount of time. On the machines we were running these on before and the trunnions, uh, they were 20 parts per loadout, and we were getting 20 parts in an hour. Now I'm getting 42. Uh, it's, and it, it, it simply comes down to the machine's ability to move, the feed speed acceleration, as well as the, um, uh, the RPMs. Because in, in aluminum with small cutters, you got to raise the RPM all the way to the top. So we're running a lot of stuff in the 22 to 24,000 RPM range, which these machines can do. So it made a big difference in the long run. And that's pretty much the summary of it, because you know yeah. we have people watching right now going, wait, 20 to 42, and all I did was turn the spindle RPM up and go a little faster? But that's pretty much what it is, right? It, it really is. I mean, the way we were doing it before, uh, you know, we couldn't fathom adding 40 parts or 42 parts to the trunnion because it would have taken twice as long cycle time. That's great. It's, on, it's uh, you know, lights out manufacturing, but at the same time, during the day while my operators are here, I'm not getting any more parts. The way these are set up now, we're just cranking them out. So for me, the big thing was the 24K. Uh, I wasn't a big believer it would be that big of a deal. And uh, one of my guys kind of put a bet on it and was like, hey, do you think we could do this? Uh, what do you think, man? I'm like, let's give it a shot. And now I've got four of them. So yeah, it's worked out. Well, we have an audience out there that sometimes questions the rigidity of a 30 taper machine, but you've obviously gone from a 40 taper machine to a 30 taper machine and you've doubled the amount of output on that machine so I guess what I'm trying to convey is we're able to increase those feed rates based on the RPM and we all know the reliability of the RoboDrill spindle I mean that thing can just run and run and run without issue right absolutely yeah well the switch over from 40 taper to 30 taper that was a big concern uh, prior uh, in our in our past of oh no you don't want to go below 40 taper don't bother we're not doing any hogging work. I don't run a two inch diameter drill or anything big. I'm not running a one inch end mill and plunge cutting. I'm doing aluminum. I'm running up to a three eighths diameter end mill. I'm running small tools. Uh, with the with the robo drill having the, uh, the, what they call it, the big plus uh, dual contact, that's a huge benefit. Uh, we got heavy duty tools in here that are rated for like 30,000 RPM. So everything is as balanced as it can be and as centered. So now it's as rigid as it's gonna get and it's doing better than the other ones are doing. So it works great. And speaking of being able to produce more parts per hour, you talked about you know, switching from one machine to the other and the feed rate increase and the RPM increase, but you're also utilizing a nice trunnion setup as, in there as well. So you can just kind of run a bunch more parts now also, right? Yes, absolutely. So what we did, um, originally we were using a, a factory available uh, trunnion, just a, 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 rectangle, a square trunnion, four inch square, just uh, bolted onto the, to the rotary. It worked great but we wanted to get a little bit more onto the machine. So we contacted Martin Trunyan and basically had them uh, come up with a base plate to hang the rotary off the edge of the table so we get more of that usable space on the table of the machine's actual axis. Uh, we went to Orange Vice to get uh, their ball couplers uh, to be able to put the bars on and off. So we basically conglomerated other people's stuff, put it together and just went with it. Uh, so yeah, now we're getting 42 parts in a loadout. And again, doubled our load and the cycle time is the same as it was, so even better. What you've just described with the double-sided trunnion on the old setup, and now how many sides is this one, which allows you to go from 20 parts to 42 parts, same cycle time, right? Yeah. This, is a, this is a hex trunnion, so it's six sides. Mm -hmm. but we also extended the length of the trunnion by hanging that rotary off the edge of the table. <laughs> so now we're getting seven per bar. Six bars is 42 parts, which is also, you know, the, uh, you know uh, my favorite number because, you know, life, the universe, and everything. Right, right. Well, we're never going back to the old way again, are we? Not for, not for these, no. And would you consider adding a robot to something like this, some type of cobot or robot or automated situation? Uh, I certainly would. We just got to figure out how to clamp and unclamp. Scott, I appreciate this testimonial. Anyone that has the vision to jump from 
what they're making to double the amount of output in the same amount of time is a great testimonial regardless of the machine, but Fanuc is an amazing product. I know Method supports you guys really well, well here in Phoenix. If someone's curious to find out more about Apex and what you guys do, where would they find you? Social media, website, any of that kind of stuff? Uh, always social media, Facebook, Instagram, that kind of thing. Uh, we, are, we have our own website, apextactical.com. Uh, we showcase all of our parts there, but uh, that's simple, easy way to get to us. Beautiful. Well, Scott, thanks again for being a part of MTD and sharing your story, story with our global audience. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Absolutely.